My name is Bram Stolk and welcome to this uh, little walkthrough of my prototype game working title Hexa Trains. So Hexa Trains plays out on this little toy planet made of hexagons and a few pentagons and this is the backdrop uh, for your railroad network. So let's start building. So navigation is pretty standard. You drag the globe with your left mouse button. You zoom in with your um, uh, middle mouse button, uh, drag with left, and you can rotate it with the right one. So yeah, um, let's get started and build some tracks. So to build tracks, um, you hold down the shift key and uh, you drag from one edge of a pentagon to another edge like this um, so let's say we want to hook up this factory like this it's just a matter of uh, shift and drag so if i have a dead end like this I can upgrade it to a, let's do one more, to a train uh, depot by pressing the D key. And depots have one way in, one way out. So uh, if a train has left this factory, it can um, enter the depot or maybe go straight ahead. And then when it leaves the train depot, we should join the track again. Like this. So yeah, uh, whenever there's an intersection, um, like here, uh, it's guarded by signals. Um, this piece of intersection is currently not occupied, so all the signals are green. Um, this signal here is red because this is a one-way track. Okay, so we can um, upgrade a piece of straight track like this to a train stop with the S key. Just hover the mouse over the tile and press S and now we've got station 0, zero. Um, let's keep um, completing a loop um, I like this so uh, now we've created a loop and then we can select the depot and here there is uh, a little button that says buy so we can buy a train and now we've bought a train and it has no route assigned so now, and we can tell it what route it should take um, let's say uh, we want it to travel uh, first uh, to station zero and then it should visit this factory uh, let's go so the trains will uh, automatically plan their own routes and will of course stop at their assigned stops so now it's stopping at station zero and now it will stop at uh, this factory factory uh, what is this? this is factory one and it will go straight through factory zero because we have not assigned it as a scheduled stop so this train is happily moving along now uh, let's add some more stops here there are some grain silos here uh, no let's not do it like that Uh, 
and um, let's buy another train and this train will go to the grain silo and then maybe um, we'll also stop at this factory So the final game will have an economic simulation <clears throat> where, uh, of course, the, the financial uh, reserves of your uh, company are accounted and there will be an economic simulation for the train stations and for uh, things like cities that provide uh, passenger traffic for stations. Uh, let me show you uh, what a large station looks like. So, uh, with Shift S, we can build a larger station. And let's give uh, the train here the option to enter this large uh, station. There's a quite a dramatic drop here, as you can see. But the system will allow for um, for very uh, versatile uh, track layout. Um, <clears throat> you can go from any edge of the hexagon to another edge. You can go straight, left, or right. And when um, when tracks join up like so. They will be guarded with signals. Okay, let's uh, let's make a train visit this station. Let's buy another train and tell it to go to that station. And maybe um, where else? Maybe uh, the factory. And it's on its way. <clears throat> Steep drop here. Now this train will be waiting because the, the section of track was occupied. So currently the trains do not back up, they do not reverse. So uh, you need to give them a, a loop to turn back. Uh, in the final game I might put in a, a reverse gear for the trains so that if there is a deadlock contention for a piece of track then at some point one of the trains can decide to reverse gear and back up to clear a section of track uh, but for now um, it's best to have a designated travel direction here I've got all my travel counterclockwise in this fashion um, if you're not careful and you let trains take shortcuts back onto the track. On the other direction, you will get deadlocks currently. Okay, this is uh, a short uh, walkthrough. Um, I hope it gets you interested. Uh, if so, check out the project Hexa Trains on Kickstarter. And uh, until next time.